is we recently launched the Clio integration using which you can do an SMS fallback for WhatsApp broadcast as well as do an SMS broadcast. Before we dive deeper into these features and how they work, let's go ahead and try to create a new SMS template. So it works in a very similar fashion to how you would go ahead and create a WhatsApp template. Over here, you have the option to select a predefined WhatsApp template if you want to link the SMS template to the WhatsApp one. Just in case when you're doing an SMS fallback and you can know which one is linked, so the automatic template will be selected. For this scenario, let's go ahead and create a new template. Reminder. Okay. Bill, is a template name. You can also go ahead and use the photos. These are dynamic photos. As SMS have a lot of restrictions depending on the countries, for example, in US, for those contacts who have not opted in, you have to clearly specify for them to opt in. And for those who have opted in, you have to specify every time how they can opt out. For the sake of simplicity, what we've done is we've gone ahead and introduced some sample messages over here. Also, please note that if the contact replies back with stop as a keyword, we have a system in place which will capture this and make sure that any further SMS is not sent to this contact because they have opted out and taken away their consent to be messaged. So let's save this. Now we head over to the broadcast analytics. First, we'll do an SMS fallback. Select here. And you can toggle on toggle on this option if you want to do an SMS fallback. There you go, you select it, you select your contacts, and then you add broadcast. It, it's as easy as that. And if I go to schedule broadcast back SMS, you can do an SMS broadcast as well. It is again very similar to how you would do a WhatsApp broadcast where you select the SMS template and you add the broadcast. And if you want to view the analytics of what happened. So in this video, I'll briefly explain how you can view insights or analytics on SMS fallback. So I had gone ahead and done an SMS fallback broadcast. It was a WhatsApp broadcast with SMS fallback turned on with a contact which is not available on WhatsApp. So as you can see over here, we go and click on view insights. We click on delivery stats. And as you can see over here, for WhatsApp, it failed. But we used Twilio to send an SMS and that SMS was delivered to the contact. Now again, heading back over to the broadcast analytics. We go and SMS. If you do an SMS broadcast, as we don't have any way to see if the contact opened the message, if they read it, but we get insights on, we, we get stats on if the message was delivered or not. So for each broadcast, we have very clearly laid out analytics over here for to how many contacts it was sent, to how many it was delivered, and to how many it failed. 